Good morning, ABC family. Welcome back to another kid's talk. Once upon a time, a little duck looked different from his brothers and sisters. Instead of being yellow, he was gray. The other birds and animals called him ugly and avoided the ugly duckling. The ugly duckling became sad and wondered why he was different. One day, a flock of swans descends on the farm. The ugly duckling, tired of being lonely, runs to the swans. To his surprise, the swans welcome and accept him. He asks them, why are you so nice to me? I am so ugly. The swans reply, you are not ugly. You are a swan. Looking at his reflection in the water, the ugly duckling realized that he isn't a duck but was a swan. The ugly duckling spreads his wings and flies off with his new family. ABC family, the ugly duckling is a story of someone who spent his whole life being rejected, only to one day be accepted and welcomed. Many times we feel like the ugly duckling, rejected. Today, I want you to know that you are accepted. We're going through a video series entitled Heroes of the Faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11:2, people in the past became famous because of faith. ABC family, do you remember what faith is? Faith means to trust and believe in God. And today's hero, the sick woman, understood rejection and will see that her faith leads to acceptance and restoration. We can find the sick woman's story in Luke 8, 43 to 48. So let's read her story. Verse 43. A woman was there who had been bleeding for 12 years. She had spent all her money on doctors, but no doctor was able to heal her. ABC family, how long was this woman sick? The Bible says for 12 years she had been bleeding. Kids, many of you have not even lived 12 years yet. 12 years is a long time. Now in these days, people who bled were considered unclean. Sadly, those who were unclean were rejected. People physically walked away from the sick woman. Imagine if your friends and family never spoke to you, never returned your texts, never even saw you. How do you think this woman felt? Probably lonely, hurt, ugly, just like the ugly duckling. The sick woman is desperate for friends and com community, so she spends all her money to get better. But what does the Bible say? No doctor was able to heal her. But this lady doesn't lose faith. One day, she hears that Jesus is coming to town. Let's see what she does. The woman came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his coat. At that moment, her bleeding stopped. Then Jesus said, Who touched me? ABC family, the sick woman had faith that if she just touched Jesus, she'd be healed. And as soon as she touches Jesus, miraculously, she is healed. She is physically restored. But is she socially restored? Not yet. So, she, so Jesus asks, who touched me? Now, ABC family, after hearing this question, do you know how the sick woman probably felt? Most likely, she would have been scared. Remember, society saw her as unclean, and they also believed that if an unclean person touched you, you would become unclean. So the sick woman feared that Jesus would be mad and therefore reject her. After all, that's what she's experienced for 12 long years. So what does she do? When the woman saw that she could not hide, she came forward, shaking. 
She bowed down before Jesus. While all the people listened, she told why she had touched them. Then she said she was immediately healed. Jesus said to her, Dear woman, you are healed because you believed. Go in peace. The newly healed woman in faith tells Jesus what she has done. And how does Jesus respond? Dear woman, you are healed because you believe. Go in peace. Jesus is not mad. Rather, he blesses the lady and tells her to go in peace. Peace has this idea of wholeness and completeness. Jesus is essentially saying, I love you. You are accepted. Imagine hearing these words after 12 long years of rejection. The sick woman's faithful per perseverance in Jesus made her well. So ABC family, what can we learn from this hero of the faith? The sick woman reminds us that being faithful means placing your identity in Jesus, not in the social group. We all want to be welcomed and accepted. We want loving family and friends, and we find all that fully and completely in Jesus. The sick woman was rejected by society, but not by Jesus. May we also find our acceptance and identity in Jesus. We are all sinners, but we are made beautiful through Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. ABC family, may we be like the sick woman and place our identity in Jesus, not in social groups. Next week, we'll look at another hero of the faith, the sick man. If you want to read ahead, you can find his story in Luke 5, verses 12 to 14. I'll see you next time.